Hi, Sean Christmas R&D. Well, today we're in the assembly room and we have a Volkswagen that we're putting together for one of our clients down in, down in Florida. And we have an issue here with these uh, studs that he sent us and the case. Of course, it's an aftermarket case. And the cylinders don't want to go down all the way. So what we're going to do is we're going to modify the holes for the studs so that they will fit. We're going to show you how to do that. It doesn't take all that long. I'm over here at the Bridgeport Mill. Let me show you my setup. Uh, it's basically nothing more than a T-slot nut with a stud, our handy dandy uh, Chevy piston top, and a nut. And what we're going to do is put some down here. And on this particular cylinder, the piston fits perfect. How about that? I'm going to tighten this down. I want to get this hole so that it's pointing just about straight out at 6 o'clock on the mill table. Tighten this down, and next thing we're going to do is line up our end mill over the hole, and we're going to take it fairly close to the uh, edge here and board this out. What we'll do is move our table over. We're using a half inch end mill here because that's typically the uh, size of case savers that you put in all the blocks. Close to the edge here. We're just going to eyeball this thing, because that's about as close as it needs to be. Turn this around. Make sure we're not too close. Down. That's it. As you can see, we got it nice and close here. 
so it should fit just fine. I got one more little thing to show you here. I'm also going to have to put some spacers underneath these barrels. And I tried these on the uh, block and they didn't fit all that well. So again, we had an issue with the bolts being too close to the uh, radius here. So what we do is we take these and we put them in a vise and we take about a half inch diameter file and we file these out so that they'll fit. Anyway, just another quick little suggestion for you here at Costa Mesa R&D. These spacers were either cut on a water jet or a laser, and sometimes they don't get the radius quite right. But we'll turn up with the file and you're all ready to go. You have to make sure that you deburr these because there is a little bit of an edge on the back side here. Anyway, one more little thing. Down to Kitchen Ace R&D. We'll see you soon.